Drowning Girl depicts a crying woman who appears to be in the process of being swallowed by turbulent waves. Despite her imminent death, her focus is solely on her sorrow. Drowning Girl is one of Liechtenstein's most notable works. It is composed of oil and acrylic on canvas, its size being 5 feet 8 inches high by 5 feet 7 inches wide. It portrays a tearful woman who is drowning in water and visibly upset what seems to be because of a romantic relationship through the use of a thought bubble the distressed woman exclaims, I don't care, I'd rather sink than call Brad for help. The woman from Drowning Girl is originally seen on the cover of a 1962 DC comic called Run for Love. It shows a girl drowning in the waves but thinking, I don't care if I have a cramp, I'd rather sink than call Mal for help instead. A man, presumably Mal, is seen in the background of the cover. In his piece, Lichtenstein has blown up this comic book image, cropping it so that viewers' attention goes straight to the face of the drowning girl. Lichtenstein uses his signature Ben Day dots throughout this painting. Many critics viewed Lichtenstein's work as a form of plagiarism and as being unoriginal since he would replicate comics and ads. Lichtenstein responded to these claims stating the closer the work is to the original, the more threatening and critical the content. It was a time of optimism and post-war economic boom for many. Supermarket aisles were filled with consumer products. Advertising and glossy magazines told people what to buy and made them want to buy it. But out of this new popular culture, pop art was born. Its subjects were celebrities, comics, cans, condiments and cuisine. Its style was flat, colourful, graphic and commercial-like. Pop art was a reaction to the introverted nature of abstract expressionism. Then, Andy Warhol burst onto the scene with his screen prints. Roy Lichtenstein turned comic books into high art. Down under, pop art started as a reaction to the conservative state of Australian art. Whimsical paintings based on cartoons. Prints that remind us of famous painting. Images so familiar to us today, it's nearly impossible to believe they were once considered quite shocking. So shocking that in 1964, Life magazine wondered if the artist who created them, Roy Lichtenstein, was quite possibly the worst artist in the U.S. That's not a question anymore. The 1964 Lichtenstein at 30 million dollars, 31 million. This is Christie's auction house in November. When the dust settled, one of Lichtenstein's pieces named, oh, all right, did more than all right. It sold for nearly 43 million dollars, a record. Lichtenstein himself would find that shocking. <laughs> 